Good morning, or afternoon, or evening, whenever you're watching this. <laughs> um, today we're going to be looking at Ecclesiastes 3. Um, I just want to say, like, reading the Old Testament is sometimes a bit difficult, um, and um, I often find it really hard, but um, this quote from C.S. Lewis um, just reminds us of the drippings of grace, C.S. Lewis writes, um, that we can see in the Old Testament just add such a depth and a beauty to it. So I just wanted to encourage you before I read from the Old Testament. <laughs> so let's read from Ecclesiastes 3 verses 1 to 8. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens, a time to be born and a time to die a time to plant and a time to uproot, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to search and a time to give up, a time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to mend. A time to be silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. Oh, there is so much in this, but I just wanted to pick out a couple things, especially in the light of all that's going on um, right now. And I just wanted to pick out this idea of changing seasons. I find this so encouraging, how we see it in nature, in all through the year, all the changing seasons, and how we can see it so clearly in our lives with the changing seasons um, in all the different things that God gives us to face. Um, and right now, I just wanted to um, allow you to validate what you're feeling um, and all the pain and all the mourning and weeping that has been going on. Um, and I just wanted to encourage you that that is okay. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to say that in these seasons, it's so difficult. And I really feel that we, like the writer or the teacher in Ecclesiastes, are just seeking purpose and meaning and understanding. Um, and the commentary that I read with this, which is amazing, says that in these seasons, life is purposeful under the wise and watchful providence of God. Ecclesiastes is fascinating um, as we journey with this teacher in his seeking and um, trying to find the meaning and the purpose of his life and as the life of the life of everyone else that he sees. It's so powerful how he ends this book and I just wanted to um, highlight this. His main message as he ends the book is fear God. Be in awe of your creator, of your saviour and worship him. Um, cry out to him in your weeping, in your mourning. God loves you and he understands this pain, this time of weeping and mourning, more than we can even comprehend. But more than that, let us have hope that there will be a season again of laughing, of embracing, of dancing, but even greater still than that, that one day there will be no more, not even changing seasons, just no more crying, pain, disappointment, frustrations, for the old order of things will pass away. Let us cling to that hope and that different perspective in this time where we just get one, one type of perspective from this world. Let us cling to that hope that believing in Jesus does give us. I just wanted to pray for us before we go into this day or into the next thing that you're doing after watching this. So let us just pray. It says a few verses um, after in this Ecclesiastes chapter, you have made everything beautiful in your time. And Lord, I just really want to pray that we can trust you, Jesus, in this time where we really don't understand. May we trust in your timing. May we trust that you are making us more beautiful in your time, in this time, in these seasons of real challenge. Lord, help us to just embrace that and know that you are embracing us in your warm, loving, tender embrace, Jesus, in this time. And we just want to praise you and worship you. We are in awe of what you've done for us, and we just thank you so much. And I pray that this 
will encourage us as we go into our day today. Amen. Be blessed. Lots of love.